I'm gonna get our viewers on the next meter to test. A 30 to 125 amp meter, 22 by 2 revs per kilometer, 3 phase, 4 wire, 50 hertz, 240 volt, direct wide. About from uh, 1980 or so era. It's got a um, different tower block on this one, an upgraded one. Gets inside there and it makes it fit into a smaller hole. That's a good idea. Yes, it's missing half of its screws too. I found one in the box which I dropped on the way here. I found that. And I can't get this out because of dickheads have ever tightened it so much they've snapped the um, screw head in half. So I can't get that out and you know, make it so I can normally use it. I have to leave it in there. They broke the damn screw. And they broke the other one too for this uh, toe off change screw. Careless dickheads. Anyway, if you also have to get this screw here in, it's got to go in up here. So we'll screw it in there. It's got a plastic coating on it, this one. There we go. Basically goes like that. And that will go in there. And my other wire will go in there. So I've got, yeah, one less screw on every bloody terminal block, except for the um this one here. Anyone that's got complete. The rest don't have enough screws in them. So I have to get the major um, spare screw stash and replace half those screws. Okay, the viewers are both kind of halfway in between here, so... There we go. Yeah, a slow meter, this other one. 22.2 meters per kilo, whatever. Pretty slow one. On the high rate. Yeah, the meter came from North Melbourne, Northcote City Council. Yep, pre pre privatisation era. Bit scuffy that one. It'll be cleaned. It's a good scrub. I should um get the other yeah, Iskra meter out. The one I used for the other one I used to um, test against with a cracked back the hole. I should uh. Do a putty up on that, get some um, body filler. If I got any body filler or something somewhere, I think I've got more, I might have some. I think I've still got some in the, uh, might have some in the um, container. Hopefully it's still good, I can um, make a patch, patch up the bake a lot for that, and just paint it black and yeah, repair the hole. So I just rely on the hot glue. But it did the trick, it just stops dust and stuff getting in there. Perfect. This meter is pretty accurate so far. It's moved the same amount of increments. Yeah, it's moved the same amount of increments. Oh, buggered. Busy ass day today, how do you? Pretty good so far. It's good having a tripod like this, you can see the meters like that, nice and still. So I've got to do this every now and again, just so you don't miss out on the load wheel action. Yeah, where's a. You can see those embossed digits. You could say they're 3D printed in a way. <laughs> you see the screw holes I'm talking about? Look at that. That first one, his head snapped in half, the rest are all missing. So I'm gonna have to replace all those. Let's say I want to drill out this one here. Or did a uh, Raymond, what I said, 2007 recommended, just pull that wire out and pull the individual copper out, strand by strand. 
and that will loosen itself off but that's still going to be a challenge to unscrew that broken um, stop off there a small job but actually I've got the I don't know if my screw extractor set I should dig that out I wonder if that'll fit in there hmm that'd be good with a job that is a small job bit do a little pilot hole and get me a little uh, broken screw extractor set out that should get that out Pretty good. Almost ready for a rollover. Original seals. Get a roll over coming soon. These ones here, there's no weight in these ones. These are a normal um, top of register. So there's no, this doesn't use a uh, weight principle. Like that lettuce and guy one I tested before. Yep, just on the verge of rolling over now. Got exactly that metal dot, and that'll be uh, a good test there. Hmm, warm. for a clean. Okay, how I touch this lot, I basically made some stuff with some zip ties, some good quality zip ties holding that up. So I guess made it a good clean. See how the way. Yeah. Gave it a good scrub, some water. Scrubbed it, scrubbed it really clean. It's clean as a whistle now. Cloudy still, they might be just cloudy from the inside, maybe from the glue, the seal that they would have used or something. Yeah, it's just uh, fought up the glass from the inside. Let's um, make an attempt to get in this bolt out. I'm going to pull this wire apart, pull the strands out individually. That top one's loose. Hopefully, we can get this um, bottom one loose. It's broken. And try and get a good pair of pliers and undo that screw and then loosen that off. I could have the option to have that in other meters. It's a good idea. Good. Hmm. I got it out just by clapping a screw over it and twisting it carefully without breaking the bake. A lot that this is screwed into in there. Just rocked it backwards and forwards and put a screw over between the um, casing, the solid part of the, the toughest part of the casing that is, and this, and wedging it and just rocking it and it pulled out. That was pretty easy. That broken screw should just come right out of there and piss off. <laughs> Alright, so basically now I should just undo. At least now. You get the idea how that's going to come out. I've got to put a hacksaw it deeper for now. A bit of a blow. Don't want that metal file getting anywhere. But the, um, I'm going to have to um, drill this out completely because well, only two of the wires pulled out successfully, the rest broke. So I have to drill this one out. Hmm. Tell me if I came up all right. There's the, uh, the wires connection on this one. Alright, keep that, I'll need that. That can go on my meter terminal square box. Very handy. Hmm, what if I could machine something, or if I had a bloody machining tool, so I could machine something like that for my little um, WF2 meters. It's just easier to use those to get any sort of wire in it. Anyway, it was longer than the normal terminal cover on this one. Probably because I had a big wire on that for the first phase. Anyway. Come up quite well. I'll do this uh, another time. Enjoy that out.
but I need to use it. You can see the hidden, uh, no, not, no hidden digits on this one. This one doesn't have any hidden digits. Embossed numbers here. Thanks for watching.